morning, junk removal warriors. Joseph here, Vets Hall Junk Removal, Stafford, Virginia. Hope wherever you are, you are staying busy and making money in junk removal because there is plenty of money to be made in junk removal. Make sure you get your peace, guys. Uh, we are staying in Stafford, Virginia this morning to do our first job, one-man job. I'm going to do it. It is a simple sectional sofa removal. And, and as well a Chase Lounge from a veteran who called us last night. I'm going to handle that. After that, I'm heading to Fredericksburg, Virginia to do somewhat of a garage clean out. It's just a veteran who has a ton of stuff they want removed. Probably maybe a trailer load and a half. And we're really close to the dump. Five minutes, five to seven minutes away from the dump. You cannot get much better than that. After that, back to Stafford, Virginia, where I'm going to meet Ryan and a father and son Marine Corps home flipping duo. And this is the seventh or eighth time they've called us back, guys. This father and son, Marine Corps veterans, uh, they flip homes on the side. And today's job is going to require us to remove some appliances and a bunch of debris, heavy type stuff. So we're probably looking at a trailer and a half load as well from them. Guys, like I always say, when you go to do a job, when you're going to go engage with a customer, um, don't go into the engagement trying to create a repeat customer. Go into the engagement trying to create a raving lunatic fan and that will be your best customer ever. And how do you do that, guys? You go in giving of yourself. You go in giving the customer more than they expect. Giving the customer the absolute best service they've ever received. And when you do that, guys, consistently, time after time after time after time, your name gets out and people in your particular area start to realize that you are the go-to guys when it, when it comes to junk removal. You are the individuals that practice a high level and caliber of service. And you could start to command a premium rate as we do, guys. We're not cheap. I never say that we're cheap. I am, relatively speaking, more expensive than all of the other guys because I don't go in engaging the customer looking like a junk man. My truck is wrapped. We're all wearing the same uniforms. We're all clean cut. And uh, if you want to succeed in junk removal, guys, you need to pay attention to your brand. You need to create your brand. What is a brand, guys? A brand is your identity. A brand is the spirit and energy of your business. I got to turn around. I think I just made a, a wrong turn. Good thing I give myself a window to show up, not just a time. Never give yourself a time. Never give a time to the customer that you're going to show up. Always give a window. This way, if something pops up and you know keeps you from arriving at the beginning of your window and you end, you end up showing up at the end of your window, you still look golden. What I really wanted to talk about today, guys, is the ability to create opportunity, guys, to create opportunity. Many times in junk removal, for both me and you, opportunity is dropped in our lap. And oftentimes we don't take advantage of it because we're just not aware of it, okay? We don't see opportunity. Um, and if we do see the potential opportunity, oftentimes, guys, we're afraid to take advantage of the opportunity. We're afraid to just ask, okay? I think that there has been so many great things that have come my way, great opportunities that have come my way because I was never afraid to just ask and I was always willing to put myself out there in the name of self-development of my business. Guys, you can work day in and day out and do all of the practical things that you need to do to grow your business. But why do some of us achieve greater heights in junk removal success where others are doing the same thing, operating at the same level they were 10 years ago. I think one of the contributing factors is because we do not pay attention and take advantage of opportunities when they come our way. Guys, like I've said in the past, sometimes opportunities, they don't come pounding at your door, okay, kicking and screaming. Other times, opportunities knock really lightly guys and it's up to you to be aware and recognize opportunity when it comes your way and take advantage of it and such was the case at a job 
I completed just a couple of days ago. Now I'm just wasting time and driving slow because I'm really interested in getting my message across to you. Such was the case. A uh, veteran reached out to us a couple of days ago, said she had a sectional sofa, wanted to know if we donate to charities and who we donate to. So I told her I'd take a look at the sofa. Unfortunately, the sofa wasn't in donatable condition. But while there, she asked who we donate to. I said we donate to one of the charities we donate to is Vets on Track in Fredericksburg, Virginia, which is a charity that supports veterans by furnishing apartments for veterans who have been down on their luck and have faced certain challenges. So it's a really worthy organization. Check them out online, vettrack.org. And she says, oh my goodness, I'm affiliated with Vets on Track. They're actually supporting us in our own charity, Blue Star Mothers, who's another really awesome veterans charity. And they support veterans who are currently deployed or ha have been deployed. I'm not sure how, but um, I'm going to learn more about it and, you know, put that charity in my tool belt and see how I can help them in the future. And she says, yeah, we're having our annual gala. And, uh, you know, as a veteran, you're invited. And, you know, we're, we're just going to come together and fellowship together as Blue Star Mothers of Fredericksburg. When I heard her say that, I said, aha, a potential opportunity. <clears throat> Always be aware. Always keep your antenna up for opportunity. Because this is an opportunity here for one, for me to help my fellow veterans. But on top of that, guys to get my name out there as well and let more people know about the wonderful junk removal service that we provide. And being that these are veterans, guys, it's a veterans charity, these are my people. Guaranteed, these people will call me when they're looking for junk removal. They will call me if they know Vets Hall Junk provides the service that they need. They're going to call. Veterans will call another veteran first before they call anybody else. It's just the way it is. I said, ma'am, um, are you going to give away any door prizes or, you know, do any auctions to raise money for the organization? And lo and behold, she says, yes, as a matter of fact, we are. I said, ma'am, would it be okay if I donate some free junk removal vouchers? She said, that would be fantastic. And if you give me a little blurb to read about you, then I'll go ahead and do so and get you a little bit of free publicity. Guys, what I did was I created a voucher for $125 worth of junk removal. Basically a single item junk removal, maybe a washer and dryer set, a refrigerator or what have you. I'm going to donate three of these vouchers. And I know this works, guys, because I did the same thing at my son's school in like 2017. And I offered the same thing in 2017 to my son's elementary school auction that they were utilizing to raise funds for various, you know, gym equipment and what have you. And it has paid dividends, guys. I have made in the thousands of dollars just for a minimal investment. Because that's what it is. It's an investment into my son's elementary school auction. So I know this is going to work. If I do not make any money, all I take is just the free junk removal items. And nobody else pays me to take anything else. Guys, I will be okay with that because I'm helping my fellow veteran and I'm helping myself by getting my name out there. But typically what ends up happening is you get to the customer's home and this has happened time and time and time again using this particular technique, if you will, even though I don't want to call it that. Um, you get to the customer's home to remove the items, but they say, hey, can you give me a price to remove this? How much would it be to remove that? So this is a winning way, guys, but you must be willing to just ask. You must be ready to recognize opportunity when it's dropped in your lap, guys. Don't be the guy who works day after day after day and puts in all the great effort, guys, but is not willing to make himself uncomfortable, is not willing to think out of the box, is not willing to be innovative, because if so, you will be that same guy and your business will be the same business 10 years from today, okay? Be innovative. Make yourself uncomfortable. Be aware when opportunity comes your way. But most importantly, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to act on opportunity when it's dropped in your lap. If you don't ask, you won't get. That being said, 
Uh, we are heading to the customer's home, so I'm gonna take you with me. I'll show you what we're taking. Stay tuned. This is what we got here, guys. Outside, the customer did us a favor and put these on the stairs, so for easy access. And then we have these few pieces inside. All right, guys, we just knocked out this job for the customer. If you're in Stafford, Virginia, and you have stuff that you need to have removed, furniture, play sets, sheds, what have you, give the junk removal company powered by Veterans and Patriots a call at 540-657-VETS. That's 540-657-VETS. I'm Joseph, owner of Vets Hall Junk Removal LLC in Stafford, Virginia, and we are on the move making things happen. hoo -ah. Talk to you soon. See you. Rock, 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 rock,